Hi, it's been uh, a couple months since I did my first um, review of the Kaku. I am still loving it. It's the Kahuna model. It's a hybrid between the um, SUP, the stand-up paddleboard, and a kayak. And what I've done since the last one is primarily I have switched from the cart that I originally purchased, which had straps that went over and like a, it was actually like a cart. And I've switched to this that actually goes into the holes um, underneath that all kayaks uh, have. I've just found that this is easier, the one that was strapped, although I liked it, and it was fine for when you were going on concrete. But as soon as I went into the grass or into the sand, it would, um, uh, usually it would just slide out or drop, and, and then it was just a pain to get it back on and everything else. So I found that this was easier. The other thing that I did is, uh, after losing several fish trying to grab them myself, I added this little thingy here. You know, I think most everybody has these fish grips. Uh, I've got these fish grips, but I put it on this great retractable thing that fits right into here. I got it from, uh, from uh, uh, Amazon.com, but it fits right in there. Just, there you go. So you just tie it down, fix it. I like that. And then I also added my own um, anchor system. And uh, basically, I just put in an eye bolt onto my track, run it down to this other eye bolt, tied on the anchor to the back, and when I get to a position that I like, I just pop this off depending on how deep the water is, throw this off the back. Snag right now. Throw this off the back, drop it down, and you know it works just like the regular anchor. And when I want it back, I just I just pull it up so it's out of the water, and then tie it back down onto this little tie it back down onto this little thing here. Uh, and then I added my little Florida fishing rules of what size fish can can be taken, different types of fish that that you might get. And that's, uh, that's what I did. Still loving it. And uh, have fun. And after watching several videos from uh, Kaku Kayak and Salt Strong, I decided to consolidate my tackle needs. And I went from my creepy shed, which obviously it's got a small thing. I, every time I'd come in, I'd bump my head. But uh, I had the shed filled with tackle stuff and everything else. And so I switched it and made a chair. Here she is my impromptu rod holders. Uh, I found the stairs work great, even for my big surf rods. Kind of so from it. the shed, I created this, my own little tackle shelf. And I've got my stuff that when I go out onto the board, I can solid my stuff down to either fit into this little box or this yellow one. They're from Plano. They're sealed. They're watertight. And then I've got a bunch of the different lures and stuff. I've got my summertime artificials. There's all my wintertime stuff. Right here. Actually, this is the wintertime stuff. All of these, thanks to the guys from Salt Strong for teaching me about some great stuff to consolidate with. This is all a bunch of junk stuff in the back. There's some DOA deadly combos. So my philosophy now on the inshore stuff, I'm taking whatever is there for the season type. If it's summer, I'm taking the summer baits. If it's winter, I'm taking the winter baits. And I'm going to take one top water with me, one spoon, and then one weirdo thing, like like maybe something like this, you know, this guy, or, or who knows, I got these for free in this tackle shop, maybe take one of these, you know, just different stuff, and here's my jig heads and stuff like that. Uh, then here is my beach stuff for when I'm taking the beach out. My philosophy on the beach is, depending on what I'm going for, you know, if I'm going out for the Pompano, I'll go out for the Pompano, and then I'll take, I love this old guy, he's so beat up, but I've caught so many uh, Spanish mackerel, and even hooked into a couple of tarpon with this guy. Do that, 
grab one of these little shiny things to throw down there, a little jig, maybe this surf casting jig, and one weirdo thing too. The and then I've just started bass fishing. I know that's not for bass, but it's too long to hang up there, but I've got all these little guys, I've got some frogs, and I've got some soft plastic and some worms. So I've got that. And then here's all my miscellaneous stuff that I use. Sometimes I take this little guy out there and I've got my gulp shrimp and stuff. And I've got this down here just in case it spills or leaks. Even though it's in a tub, it would only leak down to one section of the floor as opposed to dripping down onto everything. There's my old tackle box. I have a million stuff in there. I can never find anything I need and everything got messy. So I consolidated and I just do the little things, the little packages when I need to go out, consolidate everything down, thanks to the Salt Strong guys. And here's my angle cooler. Here's my angle cooler that I take out with me, rocking the Salt Strong logo. And what's in the box? What's in the box? What are these Velcro things for? Well, when I'm sitting on the kayak, sometimes you just need a little extra softness. There's my Capital One Quicksilver thing when I got to the Final Four. And then I always keep this with me, just a little strand of rope. Salt Strong had this, it was a great recommendation. You just tie this stuff around you when you're on top of the board. You need to just ditch your paddle. You can just stick it in this little loop when it's around your waist, and that way you don't have to bend down and everything. So that's what I've done in the last uh, few days since it's been super windy, too windy for me to take the board out. I added the anchor. I consolidated all my stuff to here. And I've been watching a lot of your videos, and I really appreciate it. Thanks to the Kaku Kayak guys for their advice, and Salt Strong for their advice. See you out on the water.